10,000 years ago in central Mexico, humans started to figure out how to cultivate and grow these from a plant called Cucurbita pepo. However, and we know very little about what happened to these insect pollinators, when humans started spreading their cultivated plants across North America. I'm Margarita Lopez Uribe, I'm an entomologist at North Carolina State University, and I would like to share with you some new research on squash bees. Squash plants are pollinated by bees. They need pollinators to move the pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers to reproduce. Squash bees are a group of native pollinators. Unlike honeybees, squash bees do not live in large colonies and specialize in only collecting pollen from squash flowers. Most squash bees are native to Central and South America, and only one, Peponapis prinosa, naturally ranges into parts of North America where it has historically relied on a wild, uncultivated squash plant called Cucurbita feridissima. So what I wanted to know was when humans started cultivating squash all across North America, did the squash bees follow? And are they widespread now in the US because of human agriculture? So here is where this squash bee has spread to. I collected bees from all across this North American range and used genetic markers to reconstruct how and when this bee came to be so widespread. What I found out is that the bees spread their range alongside with the spread of cultivated squash across North America. One surprising finding was that the current squash bee populations show evidence of several population crashes and reductions in genetic variability. This might be due to agricultural practices of tillage or pesticides. The squash bees are completely dependent on crop plants, as there are no wild squash in eastern North America. This is the first example that we know of a wild pollinator spreading its range in response to agriculture. Without pollinators like the squash bee, our dinner plates would be missing some of our favorite foods. Given the declines in bee populations worldwide, it is our responsibility to study them, learn about their biology and history, and protect them as much as we can, so that they can live well for many generations beyond our own. Okay, like this. <laughs> Adrian, <laughs> this is super weird.